Hello guys, the DB Grindy here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Nesh versus Biggest Mike, and this is going to be another Iron Man, it's going to be a 3v3 Iron Man, the winning team is going to win $150, and the losing team is going to lose $150, also make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum link down below in the description if you want to play future Iron Mans yourself, and make sure to go ahead and check out Nesh's channel link down below, and you can check out Team Interstellar, which is this team right here, uh, Team Interstellar's YouTube channel link down below. So we're going to see Nesh win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. They'll go first, 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Imperm, Flame Burge, Black Witch, Moonlit, Chill, Oak. They have Poplar, Econ, Droplet, Snake Eye, Ash, and Called By. Okay, so they're playing the build most likely with no hand traps. Just playing like they're going to second cards like this. Okay, so... Uh, they're going to go ahead and start with Special Black Witch, discard Flame Burge, Effect, go set Original. Uh, Nesh typically plays the Fire King build of this deck. Wait, we don't even summon... I guess it's fine to go for Ponyx. I was going to say, we could have gone for Snake Eye Ash, but we have Oak that we can normal summon. So we're going to go ahead, grab Sanctuary, Sanctuary in the Island, and then Link Off, make Link Karibo. Normal summon Oak, Effect, bring out Ponyx, and then Oak send itself plus Sanctuary. Go summon out Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash effect, grab out Poplar, summon Poplar, and then Poplar effect to go search, and then grab out the Divine Temple there. Okay, all I said thinking here. I mean, he also plays like the Doolittle combo and stuff like that, so they could definitely do this differently than normal. Uh, make IP, go open the Princess, Princess effect, summon back out Flame Birch from the graveyard, and then we're gonna go link off Flame Birch plus Princess into Whale. Now, Flame Burge, summon back out Snake Eye, Ash, and Oak. Okay, that's fine. Uh, now, get rid of Poplar for Link Karibo. Poplar, spell Trap Zone, Flame Burge, and then Link off into a Dark Charmer. Island, destroy Whale, go search out Garunix, new Chain Link. Uh, whale, summon back from the graveyard, Garunix to go summon. Okay, okay, so bring out IP, summon Garunix. So we're trying to make a Selene play with the Dark Charmer, I'm guessing. Uh, Garunix, go destroy Arvata. Arvata, summon back out Ponix. That's fine. Uh, Dark plus Ponix in the Selene. Selene, gain counters, lose counters. Summon out Black Witch. And then we're going to link off up into the Appalooza now. Sure. Uh, with 16 attacks, set Imperm Pass. Okay. So we have Whale and Grave, Princess and Graveyard, Garunix and Graveyard, Arvata the Summon back off Kieran. We have Appalooza, IP, uh, Imperm, Moonlit. Once we IP link away Black Witch, you know, well, it's not going to work. But if it would work, then we can get this effect to go ahead and summon itself back out. Yeah. By sending and get us more follow up. They draw Wanted. So they're going to go main phase. Normal Summon out Snake Eye Ash. And then Effect. Appalooza to negate that, then they're thinking in response if they want to chain, they chain Droplet for one. Uh, uh, I mean, they have Imperm that they could chain there. I was going to say if they chain Imperm, then they might not even negate Appalooza. They could shut down IP instead. And if you chain Imperm, then chain IP and go summon something, then they just shut down whatever you summon. Okay, so they're going to go ahead... Search out Poplar, uh, Poplar 1, Poplar 2, spell Trap Zone, special out, and then Poplar effect to go search, they said that's fine. So go grab out the Divine Temple, and then Nesh said think here. Activate IP effect, chain Econ to go take. They said, can you make anything with IP now? Pretty much asking, do you play Underworld Goddess? They say no, because if you play Underworld Goddess, you still have to like link off. Uh, they put the link into the Underworld Goddess there. Activate Divine Temple, go spell Trap Zone Flame Burge. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we are getting through this board. Like, Called by Onto Princess 2 can absolutely be huge. Like, shutting down the Garunix from even working, which shuts down our Vata, which shuts down the Kirin Pop. Uh, they do still have Imperm Moonlit Apo, though. So, they make a Hida, set Think. Uh, if they want to do anything, they said, no, that is fine. Okay, pretty much thinking if they want to pop that on summon, but it won't work because it was made with IP. Because, uh, like, they already searched Poplar, so, like, there's not, like, a whole lot of things that you can search there. It's going to have, like, good value, right? They're already normal. They already summon Poplar. Uh, so, Hida effect, try to summon out Snake Eye Ash. Then, in response, we Imperm the Hida. Okay, activate Wanted. Go search for Diabellister the Black Witch. 
That's fine. They do have two level one fires in Graveyard. Ah. Uh, huh, I don't think we send Flame Verge for Black Witch, though. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we do that. Uh, we're going to go send Poplar Summon Out Effect. Said, I know that IP was ruled in previous events that if you make it... Wait. I know that IP was ruled in previous events that if you make it with my IP, I can pop it. Do you mind confirming? Uh, I don't believe that you can pop it. I believe it checks based on where the monster is summoned at the point of summon. That's why I want to confirm this. And they said Austin will decide, uh, which is me, which I had this pulled up on the side. You can see me right here. Literally, I look to the side. I, I like on my other monitor. I see like a flashing message from Nesh. He says one word and one word only. He says decide. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so I had to like look over the whole scenario. Yeah, and then I went ahead, checked with uh, like the main judge of the Coliseum too. Uh, made sure that, you know, ruin was correct. Everything like that uh, cannot be destroyed by their effects still. So even though uh, IP says a link monster that was used, uh, wait, a link monster that used this card as a material cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. Uh, so you may think like uh, now biggest Mike is the opponent of the person who owns IP. That's not how it works. Nesh still cannot destroy this. Um, so I don't know where they ruled it at some events. Uh, maybe that's something that you want to confirm with the head judge prior to the event because that's definitely a ruling that will come up. Uh, but that is how it was ruled here. So they go ahead and moonlit that on the Black Witch there to shut that down. Okay, and now that does hurt. Uh, they're thinking very hard here on what they want to do next. Because, uh, I mean, they have called by, holy, they're thinking so hard. It's actually crazy. I actually want to see how long it took for them to think there. Because that felt like it was a long time. Okay, so Moonlit was dropped. Yeah, like three minutes. Uh, they're going to go ahead called by Moonlit there uh, to shut that down. And then go set Subversion. Because they were thinking, like, you know, if we called by Moonlit, then Princess is live. And, like, that's going to start hurting. But now they're going to activate Subversion onto Oak to spell Trap Zone it. They do have Link Karibo that they can chain. But if they chain Link Karibo... Then Divine Temple will trigger to summon out Flame Burge. Uh, and also, this is getting rid of the only fire that they have. So this is making it so that way Princess isn't even a problem. And we know the card in hand is Divine Temple. So they do end up chaining the Link Karibo there. Which, wasn't that just a mistake? Uh, I guess it's like, okay. Either way, the opponent's going to get the combo, though. We can't stop combo at this point. We can't prevent it. So they're going to go Divine Temple... Summon out Flame Burge. Okay. And then now they're going to go Flame Burge onto Black Witch. Spell Trap Zone it. Link off into Underworld Goddess using Link Karibo. Now Flame Burge 1. Underworld Goddess 2. So shut down the opponent's cards. And then go ahead special summon out Snake Eye Ash Poplar. Snake Eye Ash sends itself plus Divine Temple. Bring out Oak. Oak effect. Bring out Snake Eye Ash from the graveyard. Now we're going to go Poplar into Link Karibo. Uh, link off the Link Karibo plus Underworld Goddess to go ahead and summon out Dark Charmer. Dark Charmer effect, go take IP Mascarena. That's fine. Uh, make Princess. Princess, summon back out Flame Birch from the graveyard. And then go for the Raging Phoenix. Go for World Sea. World Sea effect, banish, bring back. Princess effect, go pop. And then now we're going to get Raging Phoenix effect. Special summon out. And then just go battle phase game. Yep. So going on to the next game now. Uh, yep, we will go ahead and we will see Nesh go first again. So opening hands, we have Moonlit, one for one, Talents, Bonfire, Black Witch. They have Called By, Change of Heart, Wanted, Flame Burge, and Droplet. So they do play like the steel cards. I'm guessing they sided these in. So now they're going to start off with Activate Bonfire. Go grab out Snake Eye Ash. Now we have Black Witch plus Snake Eye Ash. You know, I mean, that's like the combo you want. Uh, normal summon effect. This said Rez, said I'm happy you think I'm that good to draw Droll. I mean, the hand's not bad. I mean, they only have like one actual push right now, but it's not even one actual push because this puts a body on board. Change of Heart steals a body. Change of Heart in itself could be a push. 
Then you have Charmers. That's another push. We haven't even seen the draw for turn. Uh, so go ahead. Add Poplar. Summon Poplar. Poplar for Divine Temple. Divine Temple. Go bring out Flame Bird, Snake Eye, Ash, and stuff. Plus Divine Temple. Bring out Oak. Yeah, we don't even have to go for Fire King stuff yet. You know, we obviously can get it off of Black Witch. So bring out Oak. Oak, bring out Snake Eye, Ash. And then now Link off to go up in the Sunlight Wolf. Poplar, spell Trap Zone, summon Black Witch, send Poplar, Black Witch, go set Original, and then Link off in the Link Kribo, Sunlight Wolf Effect, add back Oak, and then we have Heat Soul, never mind, we're gonna go up in the Selene, oh, I forgot, I forgot, this is the combo that Nesh does, he does play like the Doolittle and stuff, so I'm pretty sure this is the combo where we're gonna Doolittle uh, to destroy, well, Island destroy Doolittle, add back Ponix, summon back out Ponix, you know, all that shenanigans, Original, Send, Summon Out. Now, new Chain Link, Flame Birch, Ponix. Grab out Sanctuary, Summon back out the Poplar, Snake Eye, Ash. Sanctuary, go bring out Island. Now, Link off into Doolittle, Chimera. Island, Pop, Doolittle, Chimera. Go search Garunix, Garunix, Doolittle. So, we're going to get to add back the Ponix. Summon out Garunix. And then activate the Garunix effect to go destroy Arvata from the deck. And then new chain link, Arvata, Ponix. So summon, summon back out Doolittle from the graveyard. Yeah, just produce as many bodies as possible. Uh, go open the Princess, Princess effect, summon back out Flame Burge. And then link off into Whale. And then go for World Seed to protect our Appaloosa uh, from battle and our IP from battle. And then we have Flame Burge target the Arvata. To spell traps on us, that way we can summon it on their turn. And then set one for one as a bluff. Pass. They draw oak. So now they're thinking here in draw phase. Go main phase. Uh, change of heart. Target Appaloosa to try to go ahead and steal. They do have IP that they could chain there. And then they're going to chain wanted. Which, once you see chain wanted there, like you're going to... You're going to start questioning things a little bit, you know? You're going to be like, okay, yeah, Droplet's definitely coming down. Otherwise, they wouldn't chain that and just let us SP Banish Wanted from their graveyard. So now chain Droplet, send two, two spells, though. So they're going to go ahead, chain Flame Burst to summon out Arvata. Then they're going to negate IP and Arvata. Uh, they go ahead and take the Appaloosa now. Go search out Black Witch. That's fine. Uh, now we're gonna go discard Flame Burge, summon out Black Witch, and then activate Black Witch effect to go set. And then in response, they're thinking, because they have... Okay, they're gonna activate the Mourner and the Princess here. So go ahead, Mourner to try to shut down Black Witch. And then, yeah, try to pop the Arvata and Appaloosa. Obviously, they're gonna chain Appaloosa there to shut down the Moonlit Chill. Uh, then they do have called by that can shut down the princess if they want it to there. Uh, so yeah, go ahead, chain out princess. Then they get to, uh, yeah, go ahead, set the original. Then nothing gets destroyed there. So like the Garunix won't work. Yeah, it's actually just so much that gets stopped by called by in this deck. Uh, cause this deck doesn't end on like negates, you know, it ends on a lot of interaction, but called by can deal with a lot of the interactions sometimes, especially if they're able to stop the Arvata and the princess, like that's just tough. So now original, bring out Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash effect goes search, and then grab out Poplar, Poplar effect, special summon out, and then Poplar effect to go search for the Divine Temple there, that's good. Uh, yup. Well, they're thinking. Oh, they do play Subversion. Never mind, never mind. No, they, yeah, they do play that. So they could also search that out. Yeah, go ahead, grab out Subversion there. And then activate Subversion onto Flame Burge. Sure. It's not like this was a problem at all. Uh, wanted, put back, and then draw into Econ. Now make Link Karibo, Poplar, Spell Trap Zone, Snake Eye Ashton itself, plus Poplar, bring out Flame Burge. Flame Burge onto the Arvata there, you know, just outing their bodies one by one by spell trap zoning them. And then Link off in the Nightmare Phoenix, which is co-linked here. And then we're going to go Flame Burge, Nightmare Phoenix. So pop the island, uh, which they do have Sanctuary now. Oh, wait. That was a little bit bad, right? 
Because now, like... Yeah, target is field spell. So now they're going to go Sanctuary, Destroy to Protect. And now they're going to summon out Oak Ash. And now new Chain Link. They're going to go Oak Chain Link 1 on Poplar. And then Chain Link 2. Uh, they're going to activate Garunix. Which now they have to Appalooza to negate that. Which I don't agree with trying to pop Island there. I mean, now we just had to use a Hand Trap. I mean, we had to use Appalooza on a spot we didn't want to. I guess maybe it's fine if we plan on going up into the Raging Phoenix again, because, yeah, we, we would lose our Apple on our way up to that. So they're going to bring out Poplar now off the Oak, Link off in the Hita, Hita effect, go take Whale. That's fine. We have so many other bodies. Uh, go ahead, make Underworld Goddess now. Underworld Goddess effect. Said attempt to leave main phase. Econ, Ghost Steel, World C. And then, yeah, they can just go for game now. So, yep, attack. They said GG's, GG's. Okay, so next one up is still Nesh. All right, so now on to this game. We have Nesh versus Biggest Mike. And we will see Biggest Mike win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. And then they will decide to go first. 42 versus 40. Opening hands, we have Valor, Bonfire, Ash Blossom, Bonfire, Snake Eye, Ash. So we do have Double Hand Trap. That's huge. They have Wanted, Droplet, Magician Souls, Original, Wanted. So they still play Magician Souls in the deck. Holy. Uh, activate Wanted. Go grab out Black Witch. Uh, then go Main Phase, Magician Souls, Dump Black Witch, Special Summon Out, Effect, Dump to go draw. So I don't know why they would start with Wanted to go search Black Witch if this is what they're going to start with. Because now the opponent knows a card in their hand and they could hand trap accordingly. But I guess it's like okay. They could have chained Wanted to Magician Souls effect though. Uh, so they're going to Valor Magician Souls. Okay. Now activate Wanted. Put back Original. Draw into Bonfire. Oh my gosh. You're actually lying. Summon out Black Witch. Effect goes set. Go set Original. Activate Original. They Ash Blossom it. Bonfire. Go grab out Snake Eye Ash. And then normal summon effect, go search, grab out Poplar, and yeah, now we're just going to go ahead and combo with this, summon out. We also do have Black Witch in Graveyard, uh, so we could go ahead and actually bring that back off of Selene. And our opponent put Ash Blossom in their grave, so now like our Hita is even better. So we're going to spell Trap Zone, Flame Burge, and then make Link Karibo, uh, Poplar spell Trap Zone, Ash Send, go bring out Oak. Oak effect, summon back out Snake Eye Ash, then, okay, that's fine, now we're gonna link off in the Charmer now, Charmer effect, go take Ash Blossom, makes Princess, Princess effect, summon back out Snake Eye Ash, Oak Sun itself plus Princess for Flame Burge, then Flame Burge effect to go ahead and spell Trav Zone Black Witch, sure, uh, go up in the IP, Flame Burge effect, summon back out two from the graveyard, that's fine. Set Droplet Pass. Uh, no shot this turn was played correctly, right? Like, let's say they did have Nib, right? The card that we were trying to play around there. Let's say they do drop it right here. You go Divine Temple, summon Flame Burge, you already use the effect. And you just don't do anything? I don't know. I don't know if I like how that turn was played out. Uh, we draw Moonlit Chill. And then we're going to go Main Phase. So activate Bonfire. Go search out Poplar. And then summon out Poplar. Poplar effect. Go search. Any response. And then nope. Okay, so go ahead. Grab out the original Sinful Spoils there. And then... Anything on res? No. Okay, so Poplar, make Link Karibo. And then Poplar, spell Trap Zone, Ash Blossom. That's fine. Normal summon out Snake Eye, Ash, effect. And then go grab out Jet Synchron. Okay, so now they're playing Pier. Yeah, obviously they're playing Pier off grabbing that. And then we're going to go Link off in the Nightmare Phoenix. Nightmare Phoenix, discard the pop, the set card, which is Droplet. They're going to go Chain Divine Temple to summon out Ash Blossom. Summons out Ash Blossom there. Okay, thinking on res, IP effect. Uh, go ahead, make Underworld Goddess. Sure. Uh, they could also Moonlit 
that. So they still have Princess Live. Yeah. Okay, so I activate Moonlit onto Underworld Goddess. Obviously what their goal was there was to get everything off their field. So that way they can't original get rid of anything. Uh, so now Moonlit the Underworld Goddess to stop the effect for Jet Synchron to summon itself out. So discard special, sure. A princess. They knew the last card in hand. They actually just got baited so hard. You can't even original send this because it gets banished. So you can't send it to Graveyard as cost. They were literally going to go tribute Jet Synchron, bring out Link Karibo. But now you activate Princess and now they just chain Link Karibo for free like their plan was originally. Oh my gosh. They just sauced themselves so hard there. That was that was guaranteed dub right there. That was guaranteed next game. Oh my gosh, they actually messed up. Original bring out Oak. Oak effect, bring out Jet Synchron. Uh, now we have Charmer, uh, make Hita, and then we have Hita effect to go ahead and steal. Uh, so they're thinking on what they want to steal there. Obviously, I mean, that's, that's their only play right now, is what they want to go ahead and steal. So Hita effect, go ahead, take Oak. Sure. Now link those off up in the Princess uh, to the, where the Underworld Goddess points. And then effect... Bring out Oak, and then Effect, Send, Send, bring out Flame Burge, they can crash, they can also use the Effect first, and then crash. Uh, so now they said, sorry. Big, 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 big thing here. Uh, Flame Burge onto Link Karibo to spell traps on it. Crash with Underworld Goddess. Flame Burge Effect. Uh, oh yeah, they do also lose 3k, because Moonlit, chill, yup, go ahead, summon out Snake Eye Ash and Poplar from the graveyard, then we're gonna make Sky Crisis, Sky Crisis to bounce back Princess, pass play, so, we put Princess in our graveyard to be able to pop their card, we took Link Karibo out of their graveyard, so that way they can't chain it, they still have original to go search, wanted, uh, yeah, Sky Crisis does shut down Flame Bridge Effect to summon back out from the graveyard for the time being also. They draw a Where Arf Thou, which honestly makes sense once we saw Magician Souls. Uh, just haven't seen that in a while. Uh, original, go grab out Snake Eye Ash and then put back Oak. Normal summon out Snake Eye Ash, Effect, go grab out Poplar, and then summon out Poplar. Okay, uh, Poplar Effect, go grab out Subversion. Mm-hmm. Then they could use Subversion on the Poplar, which shuts down Princess. They could Subversion on the Sky Crisis, so that way that's not doing anything anymore. Uh, and if they chain Link Karibo, then Divine Temple summons out. So they can't even do that. Yeah, target Poplar, they just have to let it go and just hope the opponent messes up. Uh, so Snake Eye Ash, send, bring out Oak, Oak effect, summon back out Snake Eye Ash from the graveyard. That's fine. Uh, now we will go Link Karibo, Tribute, Special Out, fine, and then use those to make Dark Charmer, and then Poplar, Spell Trap Zone, Hida, Dark Charmer effect to go take, and then take Link Karibo, that's good, uh, go up into Princess, okay, and then Princess effect, Special Out, Flame Burge, you know, this was return the extra deck off Sky Crisis, and now it brings out Flame Burge, uh, go for Raging Phoenix, and then, yeah, just, yep, World C, Banish, Bring Back, Pop, Bodies, Game. So, now Nesh will go first in Game 2. We have Oak, Black Witch, Black Witch, Snake Eye, Ash, Valor. They have Called By, Droplet, Cosmic, Original, Change of Heart. So, we're going to go Normal Summon Out, Snake Eye, Ash, Effect, go for Poplar, Poplar, grab out Divine Temple, and then link off and the link Karibo, Poplar, spell traps on itself, summon Black Witch, send Poplar, effect, set original. You know, this is this just super standard combo, nothing crazy here. Original send, go for Jet Synchron, Savage, Savage effect, spell trap zone. And then Snake Eye Ash, bring out four bodies. Uh, Oak from hand, sadly for them. Uh, body, 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 body. Yep. And then... Yeah, they're bluffing there with the thing. Sure, sure, sure. A bluff with the thing. There's no way you're actually going to draw two hand traps when you don't play hand traps in the main from what we've seen. Uh, make IP, make Princess, bring out Flame Burge, Flame Burge onto IP Mascarina, Oak Sun itself plus Princess, bring out Snake Eye Ash. 
summon Jet Synchron by discarding Black Witch, and then go ahead and use those to make Formula, Formula, draw Cross Out, set Cross Out, pass, they draw Econ. Okay, so Cross Out is probably just hitting Engine, right? It's probably just hitting Engine. Yeah, I doubt we're going to be able to hit, like, their non-engine here. I guess we could hit called by, possibly. Um, but they're going to go activate cosmic, target cross out, chain cross out, calling snake eye ash. Yep, that's fine. Uh, change of heart on the savage, chain savage, on res, formula. Yeah, they just go ahead and admit the feet there. So, going on to the next game now, we will go ahead and we will see... Biggest might go first. We got Valor, Snake Eye Ash, Imperm, Lullaby of Obedience, and Bestial Magma. Okay, so we have Triple Hand Trap, Starter, Extender. You can't hate this hand. They have Poplar, Econ, Bonfire, Talents, Where Art Thou? Oh. Okay. 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 Activate Bonfire. Go grab out Snake Eye Ash. And then Normal Summon Snake Eye Ash. Effect the Imperm, Where Art Thou? Go grab out Poplar. Summon out Poplar, Poplar effect to go ahead and search. Then that goes through. Okay, grab out the original Sinful Spoils. Uh, make Link Karibo. Poplar, spell Trap Zone itself. And then we have original to send Poplar and go summon. Bring out Oak. And then Oak effect. Summon back out Poplar from the grave. That's fine. Uh, now we're going to go Oak send itself plus Link Karibo. Bring out Flame Bridge from the deck. Uh, link off up in the IP, Flame Burge effect, summon back out, Snake Eye, Ash, and Oak. Yup. Uh, now go for Princess, Princess effect, summon back out, Flame Burge, Flame Burge onto IP, Chain Bestial Magma Mutt, Banish, Special Out, effect to search at end phase, Talents to look at hand. And then, yeah, they just place it out on the field there for them. So, hit back Valor. But Lullaby of Obedience, Snake Eye Ash, End Phase, Go Search Off, Bestial, Magma Mutt, and Draw for Turn is kind of dangerous. Uh, they make Sunlight Wolf. Yeah. So, make that. And then Link Karibo, Tribute, Special Out, Sunlight Wolf Effect, Add Back Snake Eye Oak. Yup, that's fine. Uh, now make Heat Soul. Heat Soul, pay a thousand, go draw into Snake Eye Birch. Wow, they really are playing this like it's from two and a half months ago. Where Arf Thou, Magician Soul, Snake Eye Birch, No Judge Synchron. That's crazy. Uh, like all the going second cards, like almost no hand trap. Well, you know, I don't even think we've seen a hand trap in their deck yet. Uh, summon out Birch, make SP, SP effect, banish Bestial, set Econ. Pass. End phase, grab Druus Worm. And then activate Druus Worm. Banish Link Karibo. Special summon out. Pass, draw Bonfire. Yeah, you cannot complain about this hand. Holy. Uh, so, yeah, they lose 2k off for Arf Thou. True, true, true. They did not normal out Poplar that turn. Uh, so now, we're going to go normal summon out Snake Eye Ash. Uh, declare the effect of it. They said okay. So, go ahead and search out for Snake Eye Oak. Sure. Uh, yeah, make Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Phoenix, and Druus Worm. So try to out SP, try to out Econ, and then in response, they're thinking hard here on what they want to do. Uh, they're going to chain SP onto itself plus Nightmare Phoenix. Yep, Econ's just going to go. Yeah, that is fine. Activate Bonfire, go search out Poplar, summon out Poplar. And then activate Poplar effect to go search. Uh, they do have Princess in Graveyard as an interruption still. And they have Flame Birds that can take out of the Spell and Trap Zone. So they're going to grab Divine Temple. Divine Temple, go bring out Flame Birds. Sure. Activate Lullaby of Obedience. Calling Black Witch. Yeah. Uh, so we're thinking if we want to add it to their hand or special summon it to their field. We also do have Flame Birds. I guess that we could technically chain to take their Flame Birds. Sure. Uh, then we will go ahead and add Black Witch to their hand. That's fine. Make Link Karibo, Poplar, Spell Trap Zone Oak. So they still have Princess Interruption now. Uh, but how does Nesh want to play this? Summon Black Witch, send Oak, Black Witch effect, go set original. It's actually kind of hard to play this here. Um, we know that they play Sky Crisis. Uh, they're going to link off, make SP, 
SP effect, try to banish original from their graveyard. I mean, that's that's no problem. Yeah, that's fine. Original, send divine temple. Like, I mean, we got follow up in hand. Like, we, we don't care about the original. Like, we they know that we added back Oak off of Sunlight Wolf. Uh, so I guess they're just taking an extender away from us, but they don't know that we have Poplar in hand, so it's not even an extender. Original, bring out Poplar. Yeah, they just submit the feet. I was going to say, like, I don't know what they're trying to accomplish here, because if we go up, I guess we just had to hope that they made a mistake, but even if they made a mistake, how do we win? Like, let's say they go Princess Pop SP. What do we do? What do we do? We don't, we don't have anything there. So, uh, next is Champion of something. Okay. So now we have Champion of the Jotnar versus Biggest Mike. And we will go ahead and see Biggest Mike win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. And they will decide to go first, 40 versus 42. We have Imperm, Valor, 1 for 1, Valor, Moonlit. Okay, it's a lot of hand traps. They have Oak, Magician Soul, Divine Temple, Black Witch, and Subversion. So, oh, look at that. <laughs> they said, good luck, have fun. The opponent didn't say it back. They said, good luck, have fun. They still didn't say it back. Say it back. Say good luck, have fun back, or say good luck. They're demanding it. They're going to go Divine Temple, Spell Traps on Snake Eye, Ash Dump Special. They're probably salty. You know, I mean, they are down you know, 2-0 right now in the Iron Man. Uh, they're going to go ahead, send to go draw. And then in response, Imperm, shut that down. Normal summon out Oak. Oak effect. We Valor that. Yup. Uh, then... Go ahead, make Link Karibo. Uh, send Link Karibo for Black Witch. Affect the Black Witch. We Moonlit to stop that one now. Triple Hand Trap is tough. Uh, now we're going to go Link Karibo. Tribute to Special Summon out. Okay, said so minus 25 when you make SP. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Sure, sure, sure. How long did it take for them to do that? It didn't take them very long. Come on now. Now, now I'm rooting against Champion of the Jotnar. I was rooting for him because I want to see this go as long as possible, but now I'm rooting against him. Draw Flame Burge. One for one, discard Flame Burge. Go summon out Snake Eye Ash. Snake Eye Ash effect. Go grab Poplar. Poplar effect to go search. Uh, I mean, you know, they can respawn there. SP onto itself plus Poplar. Um, but now they're going to search out. Yeah, they're going to search differently. Uh, it's like... Huh. I mean, they do have their normal still, too. They're going to go ahead, grab out Divine Temple, normal summon out Valor, go in the Hita, Hita effect, take Oak, Oak effect, summon out Poplar, and now Link off, open the Princess, Princess effect, bring out Flame Burge, Battle Phase, go for game. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, the opponent really couldn't do anything about that one. Uh, so going on to game number two now. I mean, Triple Hand Trap is crazy, right? Now uh, we got Wanted, Moonlit Chill, Valor, Moonlit Chill, Lullaby of Obedience. They have Bestial, Magma, Where Art Thou, Bonfire, Talents, and Birch. Okay, there we go. Now we have Talents. That can definitely help us play through Hand Trap. And now it's only two Hand Trap. So activate Bonfire, go grab out Snake Eye Ash. But even then, like, Valor plus Moonlit is a very strong combo. Valor, Moonlit, Imperm, Ash Blossom. Those cards are, like, very strong two-card combos to just, like, completely try to shut it down. Then you obviously have the other combos, like Valor plus Nib. Uh, really, any hand trap plus nib uh, is like also fairly strong, but Snake Eye Ash effect a hit with Valor. Active Talents, beep the hand. Uh, still have to play through two hand traps, uh, but we're going to hit back the Lullaby of Obedience there. Activate War Arc though. Go grab out Poplar, and then summon out Poplar. Uh, well, they don't lose 2,000 yet. They said before I forget again. Honestly, that's, that's fair. They're going to take it at end phase either way. Uh, so Poplar effect, they moonlit it. Now they lose 700 to make that. Poplar, Spell Trap Zone. Yup. Uh, activate Bestial, Magma Mutt. Banish Valor. Summon effect to search during the end phase. Now we can link off up in the IP. Link off in the Princess. Princess effect, summon back out. Bring out Snake Eye Ash. Snake Eye Ash in itself plus Poplar. Go summon out from deck. Bring out Oak. Oak effect, summon back out from the graveyard. Uh, obviously we know the opponent doesn't have any hand traps here. Go for Flame Burge. Flame Burge effect onto IP Mascarena. Mm hmm. Go for your Sunlight Wolf. Flame Burge, summon out Oak, Snake Eye Ash, Link Karibo, Tribute Special, Sunlight Wolf effect. Add back Oak for follow up. Now we have Heat Soul. Heat Soul, pay a thousand to go draw. Draw onto Econ. 
special summon out birch set econ pass so uh well end phase bestial magma much search and lose 2000 oh they forgot to do it yeah they said way resolve magma much. yeah 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 so they actually have a lot of different things that they can do here they have princess interruption they have birch that can summon out flame birch from deck which can bring out ip they have heat soul draw which heat soul draw is actually not even that scary because they're not drawing hand traps um, Druus Worm can get tributed off Econ or sent off of Birch to get its, like, extra interruption for send. Uh, Draw Face, Birch send itself plus Snake Eye Ash, bring out Flame Birch. Yeah. Uh, so now they're gonna go Special Black Witch, discard Wanted, activate its effect. Uh, they're thinking if they want to go ahead and try to Chain Princess. So Chain Princess onto Heat Soul, Black Witch. Yeah, that's just game, because we know the last card in hand is Moonlit Chill. So they go set original, normal, on summon, econ, tribute, take, game. Uh, on to the next game now. Game number three, we will go ahead and see Champion go first. Got Bonfire, Lullaby, Summon Limit, Black Witch, Lullaby, Snake Eye Ash, Black Witch, Summon Limit. <laughs> GG. They got Cosmic, Black Witch, Droplet, Snake Eye Ash, Snatch Steel. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. 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 This is, uh... This is also very strong. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Activate Bonfire. Go grab out Snake Eye Ash. And then Normal something Also, they play Snatch Steel. Snatch Steel is crazy. Uh, there's, like, other Steel cards that you can play. Uh, but okay. They play Snatch Steel. Snake Eye Ash, Poplar, Poplar, Divine Temple... Divine Temple, bring out Flame Burge, Link Off in the Link Karibo, you know, Poplar, Spell Trap Zone, Send for Black Witch. Technically, you're not even supposed to activate Divine Temple yet, but it really doesn't even matter. It's going to be the exact same thing anyways. I guess maybe you activate that. It it does not matter. Go Set Original, and then Original Send, Jet Synchron, Savage, Savage. Really, we're thinking? Snake Eye Ash, Send, Soul Plus Flame Burge, bring out Oak. Oh. Okay, I mean, we know our opponent doesn't play hand traps, so I guess we can play this differently. I want to see exactly how they play this now. Make IP, and then go ahead and make Princess. Princess bring back out Oak. Oak summon, oh wait, oh, oh, yeah, we still have Oak summon back. True, true, true. Oak bring back out Jet Synchron. Oak send itself plus Princess, bring out Flame Burge. And then just go ahead and make Savage. Savage effect to equip. The Princess, Lullaby of Obedience, called Magician Souls. Uh, but, pretty sure I sided them out. Check your deck. Yeah. Oh my god. There's actually no shot. That's why they equip Princess. Because it gives it the extra negate and they thought they could Magician Souls to send this. To draw, but now Princess is in their spell and Trap Zone off Savage. You can't even like, oh my god. Gosh! Flame Burge on the IP, discard Lullaby of Obedience, bring out Just Synchron. They actually just got played around so hard there. Holy. Uh, and if their opponent was playing hand traps, then they could have Lullaby of Obedience to like go grab Valor or something. But they tried to go for Magician's Souls, they got sided out. Now make Formula, Formula draw, draw cross out. Okay, so it's the exact same combo. Why do we even go for this combo? Why did we even go for this? I guess, okay, it's just to give Savage the extra negate. That's why we went for this combo. Okay, sure. I was just thinking, why would you go for this? I think if I was at a tournament, even if my opponent was ongoing second cards, I think I still would have just made Savage earlier. Uh, we haven't seen Nib yet in any of these games, and we've played multiple matches against this deck, so like maybe it's fair enough to assume they don't play anything. Um, but if I was if I was at a tournament and I had this line, I would uh, I want to go for it. Obviously, it's a little bit different, too, because they thought they could Magician the Soul send that. So, yeah, the regular line would have been better there for them. Set cross out, set summon limit, pass, draw, drew this room. But this line would have been a little bit better if they had Magician the Souls in their deck. So, I mean, well played on their part. Well played on their part, for sure. But got punished. Activate Drew this worm onto Link Karibo. Banish, special summon out. And also, it plays around Bestial, too, which is cool. Uh, and Princess will get to the graveyard eventually once Savage goes. So Divine Temple, summon out IP, 
Yeah. Normal summon out Snake Eye Ash. Effect. Wait, this might not hit Graveyard, though, when we want it to. They're going to cross out Snake Eye Ash because if they activate Droplet, they just don't negate Savage, right? They just stop IP formula. Now, this won't touch Graveyard. If you negate Savage, this falls off. So they cross out Snake Eye Ash. Also, I mean, some of them it's broken. <laughs> formula effect. And then in response, probably Chain Cosmic. Target the set card, Chain Savage. And then they chain Droplet to go ahead and send. Send Druus Worm Cosmic, shut down IP formula. They chain Summon Limit, chain IP. Yeah, so to make it that way, Droplet won't negate since we'll only have one body and they sent two. Yeah, now Princess will go to Graveyard. Flame Burge will not get the Summon back out though, because we're under Summon Limit. <laughs> the Snatch Steel is so broken here. Like, a mind control doesn't even do anything. A snatch steal, though. A snatch steal. A snatch steal. I'd be fuming right now. They're gonna go ahead, battle phase, poke, and then pass, draw lullaby of obedience. Oh! Oh, they gang a thousand! Oh, this actually works! This actually works! So they gang a thousand there. And then go main phase. Oh, okay, so what do they do? What do they do? They have original... God, the Appaloosa just trades so well, though. Um... I guess they have a little live obedience to call Black Witch. Or they could call Bistio Magma Mutt, too. Original. Go ahead, grab out Snake Eye Ash. Put back Flame Burge. Yeah. And then activate Lullaby of Obedience called Bistial Magma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that one's in their deck for sure. So we're going to go ahead and add it to their hand. Sure. Um. Yeah, I kind of want to summon it to their field, though. Because uh, it's not us summoning it to their field. Lullaby of Obedience says the player who activated this card special summons the declared monster to their field. So that would count as our summon for summon limit. Maybe they didn't know that. Normal summon out Snake Eye Ash, effect, and then, I mean, you could just let that ride, right? Oh, huh, let's think. If we let this ride, they grab Poplar, they summon Poplar. No, they don't even summon Poplar, because they have to Snake Eye Ash send itself plus summon limit. Which, if we summon Magma much to their field, they wouldn't have even been able to do. So they're going to go ahead and search out Poplar. Snake Eye Ash sends self plus summon limit. Appaloosa stop it. Pistol Magma Mutt. Appaloosa stop it. They said, um, I see. My bad. Wait. What is. Oh, 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 they're chaining it in response. Okay, 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 okay. Sure, 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 sure. Effect a search at end phase. Appaloosa stop it. Because I could have searched for a Bistial or a Flame Burge. Or I guess technically add back Savage. Stuff like that, too. Uh, battle phase, beat over Snake Eye Ash, praying that they don't have anything. Pass, they draw Cosmic. Didn't matter what the draw was. Did not matter, because we just go Sun Cosmic, Special Black Witch. Wait. Okay. Where we go, World C. Oh, this is their Magma Mutt. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's just their Magma Mutt. The draw never even mattered. We know the card in hand's Poplar. So go ahead, take... Magma effect for the end phase, yeah. Wow, battle phase game. They don't even say GG's back. So the duel's over, go home. Okay, so see that the match was about 43 minutes long. Wow, 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 wow. So biggest Mike, aka Team Interstellar, goes ahead and sweeps them right there. Wow, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, we've seen so many of these builds pop up recently with just the going second cards, no hand traps. They've been cooking. They've been cooking hard. Uh, they've been cooking hard. It's so... It's so wild. I don't, I, don't even, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. That was well played. Snatch deal on Appaloosa, are you kidding me? Snatch deal for the Appaloosa, are you kidding me? Like... Couldn't have just been a mind control. Couldn't have been a change of heart. It had to be Snatch Steel to perma take the Appaloosa. That was just broken. I don't. I don't have words for that. I'm gonna link everyone down below in the description, including the Coliseum, if you want to play in any Iron Man's yourself or money matches. 
I, I'm at a loss for words. That was beautiful. I loved everything I just watched. And with that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.